Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey guys. All right, so just say what you're doing here. So, You've got all these different macros because you have how many different screens here? You've got four different projection screens and then all of those uh, displays that are actually on the stage, those downstream dis down screen displays, downstage yeah, displays. Yeah, four TVs. All right, so walk through. This is like the So this is look. Reggie's talk. So when Reggie got up, we would trigger the bumper, which would trigger it on all screens. And how many different videos is that? This is three different videos on three different layers. Okay then the, only one layer is actually being masked at this point. In fact, we're actually using a key mask, not a, uh, what's the other Keyhole mask, yeah, yeah key as opposed mask. to overlay mask. Yes, okay. exactly. Um, so then once the TVs were in place, then I brought in this, which brings in the four icons on the four TVs. Okay. And those are an additional four layers. You can see this right here. Like, we're literally sending, I, all I asked for from Hold the on. client was four 1280 by 720 images. So each of those are being processed by a different layer, and PVP, let me go into my layers here, I'll show you how we're doing that. If I go into each of these uh, one by fours, it's just different quadrants. Yeah. The reason we're doing different quadrants is because we're actually sending uh, an image down that feed that is the four outputs, right. and then the TVs themselves have Are what they call it a multi-screen. So, yeah. so you can actually say, only look at the top left quadrant. Which is the best way to accomplish that for any kind of staging. Yeah. So That's then, the I always say you need to get spend the extra money get industrial displays as opposed to television. So then, you know, many of you may have seen like Andy Stanley use that plasma on TV on stage. Reggie basically did the same thing. So we'd click on this macro and it would fire just TV number three or C as we've been identifying it. But it would also put it up top because it's too small to see in the room. So we make sure that everybody can see it in the room. This would be a great opportunity in churches. If you want to do scripture, but you also want to trigger a lower third or something like that, it would be a great way to trigger both of those at the same time. So then we trigger another one. Then he went through each of these and identified each TV at a time. So you'll see that as like... So you're doing a macro so that you're actually specifying where each one of those goes exactly. so you can actually just walk through it. So they're actually popping up on each of those TVs. The lighting wasn't this bright, so it right. wasn't like this crazy. It's very cool. Anyway, then he would talk about, you know, some of these and then down here I want to show you this we would clear this all out this would kind of get us back to our original and then he would talk about pictures and so he, he would use a picture to illustrate each of these four different words. So yeah I can see that it's on that display on the far left and, and then it's also and then, coming up to there yep. so then that's going to the second one and he actually had them build so that as he went through them they built and then the last one he wanted Bill Nye because he talked about the fact that Bill Nye relates to all age groups. So you'll notice that we triggered that and it actually triggered it on all four televisions. Gotcha. And then we can clear that out pretty easily. So he had, he had those built just like that. And he's walking TV to TV, pointing at it almost very like CNN style, like, hey, and now we look at this. Almost like the weatherman, but yeah, I was his weatherman. So so he's interacting with the displays. I mean, that's, it's, that's, uh... but you can see these are actually four different icons. That when I go into this uh, macro, this is actually kind of cool, you can actually see that I'm saying trigger all four of these clips on the four different layers. So I've got one called 14A, 1 to 4A, 1 to 4B, 1 to 4C, 1 to 4D. But I could come in here and say trigger that on 1 to 4 tile so that when I trigger this, it's actually triggering on this tile one. So if I were to clear all these layers since they're on top, you're not seeing that right now, it would trigger the same image on all four. Yeah. So that's very cool. That's it. That's Thanks, Luke. That's a great use of the of the software for a very very complicated speaking notes. <laughs> yes, complicated is exactly the phrase. <laughs> Thanks a lot.